Single line text. A single line text is very good when you want to place just one word or perhaps just one line of text. So it's much easier to use than the multi-line text for those situations. We have two places where we can get the single line text. On the home tab, we come over here to annotation and we hit the down arrow and we go to single line text. This is one place we can get it. I actually kind of prefer to go up to the annotate tab. In the annotate tab, we also have the drop down menu and we go down to the single line text. When I click on single line text, it'll ask me for a start point of the text. So where do I want the, the text to start? So I pick there with my left mouse. Then it's going to ask me for the specified height. Um, so at this time, I'm going to go with an eighth inch, uh, 0.125, and hit enter. They'll ask me for the rotation. I'm going to want it to go to zero, which is to my right. And then when I hit enter, I get like a flashing eye beam and I can say um, this is single line text. Now uh, to finish the single line text I hit enter twice. So I'm going to hit it once, twice and uh, let me zoom in on this a little bit. So there's my single line text. All right, And let's get it kind of parked up here and now let's do that again I'm going to come up here to single line text and go to single line now before you put uh, any single line text in you should set your your uh, text style to whatever text style you want to be current before you place it so right now I'm placing it on my standard text style so I'm going to go with uh, single line text uh, I'm going to pick a new start point. I'll pick it right here. I'm going to enter in a height of 0.25 and I'll say enter. And I'll say enter for a rotation which will be zero. And now I'll say this is 0.25 inch text. And then I hit enter. If I only hit enter once, is I call it the carriage return, like an old-fashioned typewriter. It parks the next line right below it. So that would be the second line of text. And then you can enter and say, now you're on the third line, etc. And whenever you hit enter twice, it finishes the command. So notice that each one of these lines is a single line text, a single entity. It just helps you place them directly above them, even though they're separate lines of single line text. So they're not a paragraph. All right. Now, let's go in and place some text in and pick the start point. And I'll say my height is 125. And I'm going to set a rotation of 45. And I'll say this is a rotated text and I'll say 45 degrees and then I'll hit enter twice and you can see how that text is put on alignment now when I come back in to do single line text again and I pick a start point and I, it remembers the last height you did so all I have to do is enter when it's within the less than and greater than sign so when I hit enter I get 1.25 and it remembers the last angle of the text so I can come and say negative 45 degrees and now I can say this oop, this is negative 45 degrees and I can hit enter twice and there you go so now whenever you want to get back to normal I guess you could say is pick a start point and then you have to set it back to zero and I'll say hello okay enter enter and you created the single line text. Now, other than setting your, which the easiest way is to set your text style here ahead of time, we need to worry about our justification. When I go to put single line text in, you'll notice down here on the command line, the style of setting your, your text style. It's much easier to set it up here than it is to click on here and have to know the name and how to spell it. But when I go to justify, 
I have different justifications and right now by default you know we're on left so let's go take a look at those different justifications so if we're down here we have uh, these different uh, justifications and so we really have top left so it's parking it at the top left and making it go across from left to right uh, with the top top left being the anchor point we have middle left where the anchor point is in the middle on the left bottom left we have middle center which is very commonly used it spreads out both equally left and right and top and bottom sometimes we use top right so these are what we use to anchor down our text so um, these are commonly used uh, 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 justifications and if I go back in here and hit escape and come back in you can see that when I go to justify that I have left I have right I have center but then I have all my top left I have my top center, top right, middle left, middle center, etc. We do have some unusual ones we'll cover later, like a line um, and fit, but most of those you can see. I can also pick them off of my menu as well. So um, most of the times we use left, middle, center, most common ones. So single line text is a very commonly used. Uh, text command we use it typically to make things that are single words or single lines of text so they might work very well for example in a title block